I've been playing the heck out of Breath of the Wild lately. There's just so much to do and see in the game. One of my favorite activities is, you guessed it, cooking. You can cook a wide variety of dishes in this game, and there's a slew of ingredients for you to experiment with. However, cooking in the game is quite a bit different than real life. You grab a bit of this, maybe a little bit of that, and yat -da -bat -da -bat, boom, you have a meal. Cooking in real life is a bit more involved than that. That's why I'm here to help you bridge the gap between gaming and gastronomy. My name is Spencer, and today on Eat Chef, I'm bringing you creamy vegetable soup from The Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild. Eight bit chef. Start by adding a couple tablespoons of butter to a medium stock pot. To that, we will add the white and light green parts of thinly sliced leeks. Season with some salt and let cook for a few minutes until the leeks soften. Next, we are going to add some roughly chopped carrots and a few chopped potatoes. Yukon Gold or any other waxy potato is the optimal choice here. Russet, Idaho, or other mealy potatoes have too much starch and will make the soup gummy. Give that a stir and let simmer while we work on the next ingredient, the cauliflower. Arrange your cauliflower florets on a baking tray and drizzle with olive oil. Season with salt and pepper and toss to evenly coat. Roast that in a 400 degree oven for about 30 minutes or until golden brown. Back on the range, we are going to add some mushrooms and our roasted cauliflower to the pot. I used a cremini mushroom here, but you can use whatever you have on hand. The beauty of vegetable soup is that you can make it with whatever ingredients you have on hand as it is engineered for leftovers. So feel free to omit or add whatever you fancy. Next up, we are going to add some homemade vegetable stock to the pot. Check out my recipe for vegetable stock, which I'll link in the insulate, as well as the video description below. To the stock, we will then add some herbs, in the form of two bay leaves, as well as some dried oregano and dried parsley. Stir to combine, bring to a boil, and then reduce to a simmer. Cook for about 15 minutes, or until the potatoes are fork tender. Using a slotted spoon or skimmer, remove some of the vegetables and reserve until needed. Make sure you take the bay leaves out at this point too, as they've served their purpose. Turn off the heat and using an immersion stick blender, puree the soup until it is well blended. It's okay if it's not completely smooth, because we want the soup to have some texture to it. Add the reserved vegetables back to the soup before turning the heat back on to medium high. To the soup, we are going to add some roughly chopped Swiss chard. Chard is a wonderful cream, loaded with lots of vitamins and minerals, perfect for whatever journey may lie ahead. Simmer for a few minutes or until the chard cooks down and darkens slightly in color. Next, we will add the eponymous cream to our creamy vegetable soup. So go ahead and add some heavy cream and stir to combine. Finally, like with all cream soups, we will season with some freshly grated nutmeg. Don't use that pre-ground stuff from a tub, it's essentially flavored sawdust. Stir that to combine before ladling into your favorite serving dish. The soup was creamy and rich with a medley of fresh vegetable flavors and aroma. The cream gave it a nice layer of silkiness to balance the delicate saltiness of the homemade stock. This is a perfect soup to keep you warm on a cold, rainy day. It always rains in this game. Why does it always rain in this game?